You're listening to the Yahoo Finance Small Cap Show, powered by Agoracom.com, the web's leading small cap portal. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Al O'Grady, and with us today is the president and CEO of Amador Gold, Mr. Richard Hughes. Amador Gold is well-positioned to discover and capitalize on world-class gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and diamond deposits. The company has more than 20 properties in established mining camps, including the Loveland Gold Copper Nickel Project, which recently completed its spring drill program. Amador Gold trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol AGX. Mr. Hughes, welcome back to the program. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Al. It's nice to be back and uh, nice to give everybody a little update what's going on. And we'll certainly do that. Uh, Richard, uh, before we get into uh, the specifics of Amador Gold, uh, for the benefit uh, of someone that's new that's uh, maybe doing some research on Amador, uh, Amador, of course, is part of the Hughes Group, the Hughes Group uh, being uh, the parent company of a number of companies. So before we get into uh, Amador, let's get to maybe take a step back, take a look at the big picture, and talk about Hughes Group for a second. So so, having said all that, what's going on with the Hughes Group right now? Well, you know, we're, we're uh, collecting good properties and have been for the last three or four years um, uh, in Canada, uh, a little bit in the States, and, uh, and particularly in, in uh, southeastern B.C. and up in the Yukon. Uh, but we've kind of focused to, uh, to bring forward uh, three silver camps, which we can talk about a little later in Klondike Silver. Uh, we've really tried to focus on Ontario, uh, Timmins particularly, Timmins area, and um, the Timmins Camp itself has a nice greenstone belt running through there. They've produced uh, uh, 67 million ounces of gold. There's the big, ki- big Kid Creek deposit up there, How about a $35 billion deposit of uh, silver and, and zinc. Um, it's one of the best mineralized belts in the world. In fact, it's the most mineralized belt in the world for that type of geology. And uh, we've gone in there and uh, picked up a total of 97 properties in the Ontario area, most of them around the Timmins camp, very choice properties, done a lot of work on them. Uh, we used to have 145 properties. We've narrowed that down to 97 by drilling and trenching and getting rid of the weak sisters, let them fall off the table. But we have really choice targets, choice properties, and we've had two nice discoveries up there last year, of course, um, the Langmere, which is in uh, Golden Chalice, and of course now the, the Loveland, which is in Amador. And, um, you know, we're expecting a, a lot more from the uh, 97 properties up there in the way of discoveries. Now, what you should know is that uh, we spent almost $7 million flying all of these properties in Ontario. That's with Geotech. And uh, it's a fabulous firm. Uh, you can pick out targets left, right, and center. And uh, of those targets that we've got in the 97 properties, we probably average about five or six targets per property which means that we've got about 500 targets to drill over the next two or three years amongst the nine companies. And I'll guarantee you one thing, and that is that that, uh, all those targets won't make mines. But, you know, some of those 500 targets, I'm sure, will lead to new discoveries. And when you get new discoveries, some of those uh, can lead to new mines. And I think that's going to be an interesting... Uh, trip for, for anyone that's a shareholder to watch how these things perform. Okay, Richard, uh, let's uh, change gears for a little bit. Uh, of course, uh, let's talk about uh, Amador Gold. We've talked about uh, the Hughes Group uh, in general. Let's uh, get down to specifics uh, with Amador. What's the latest uh, with Amador right now? Well, right now, we've uh, just finished a, a drill program on our Loveland property. Uh, this is about um, oh, 30, 35 kilometers northwest of Timmins, Ontario. Good, good hunting ground. Um, we've now got three zones on the property. Uh, one's um, uh, we just finished drilling. Uh, it's got uh, great potential for nickel and copper. A very similar grades and rock type as the Montcalm deposit, which is owned by Strata. That deposit's about 20 kilometers uh, due west of what we uh, are, are developing. The Montcalm deposit has had a, a bit of bad luck. It was starting to run out of ore only maybe about two years left, and they've had a, a mine collapse. Nobody was hurt or killed, fortunately. But um, it's not going to go back into production, Extrata tells us. And um, they will need uh, mill feed for their 1,500-ton-a-day mill and, of course, uh, additional feed for the smelters. So, so we're sitting in a very nice spot with the Loveland project, with the first zone that we've really got our teeth into and drilling that. 
getting good wits and good grades of copper and nickel. So that's developing quite nice. Um, another uh, one of our 33 targets just to the north, uh, we've just drilled that and we've announced those results for nickel copper. Uh, just the first preliminary pass on it looks very, very good. Uh, there's another zone about, <clears throat> I would say, 3,000 feet to the southeast. Uh, it's got some tonnage and grade. It's not 43101, but that's the next target we're going to tackle. But on top of all of that, uh, with our VTEM survey with Geotech, we have 30 other targets uh, ready to, to start drilling and trenching. And those targets um, look very similar in all respects to what we found so far. So it's a, it's a new camp. That's not all of our property there. That's only about a quarter of our property because we have a huge land position. We, in fact, we have staked ground all the way over to right beside the Montcalm deposit, which is 20 kilometers to the, to the west, as I mentioned. But a great project. It's going to need a lot of drilling, and we will need a, a major partner to come in on that eventually as well. But we have other, other interesting things going on in Amador as well. Would you like to hear about those? Absolutely. The floor yeah. is yours, man. Okay. Uh, we have about 27 projects um, in Ontario in the little company of, of Amador, and uh, about 40% of those are gold-related. So if you like precious metals, we're going to have lots to talk about there. And uh, the others are, are either massive sulfide or BMS-type deposits uh, scattered around uh, Ontario. And we love, love Ontario because it's a safe country. Uh, you don't have to go offshore. Uh, they don't change the goalposts on you, so you know what your mining laws are and you can work within those. But um, there's another project that it has that we've been bringing it forward over the last couple of years with... Uh, uh, again, um, airborne surveys, uh, ground truthing, prospecting, a little bit of hand trenching. It's called our Muscooch property, and this is a, a massive sulfide prospect, uh, not only for precious metals, but for copper, lead, zinc as well. And the Muscooch is um, a little bit west of the Timmins camp, over by Thunder Bay, but it's, it's a great project, and um, it, it has the possibilities from what we see with the airborne work that's been done and the groundwork to be very significant in size, and there's three or four major targets to go after. That'll be a, a summer drill program this, this summer. Uh, I think we'll get the Muscoot started first, and then we'll follow up with the drilling over on the uh, well, Loveland first rather than over to the Muscoot. So I, I would be thinking that you'd be getting discount rates for the drill uh, <laughs> because you'll be doing a lot of drilling this summer, I would think. You know, we were paying up to $135 a meter, $140 a meter last year when it was hard to get drills. Is that right? And uh, we're now down to about the $75, $80 a meter because prices have come down a lot. So we get a lot, lot more money for our dollars. So that's really very, very fortunate. Right. Uh, Richard, uh, Amador Gold, of course, part of the Hughes Group. A lot of projects. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to, to get into all of them. However, I will leave you with the last word. Any final point that you wanted to make about uh, Amador at this time? I think it's one to keep on your radar screen, uh, along with the, the Langner uh, for Golden Chalice. Uh, we, I love the projects. It's got great potential. It's in a, a good place in the world to be, which is in the Timmins camp. And um, we've got several other very, very interesting properties in the Timmins camp, which we could bore you with uh, for the next half hour, but a lot of those are gold-related. So, so uh, And, of course, on the I didn't mention it, but on the Loveland, we've had some very good gold intersections besides the, the copper and nickel as well. And we'll be following up with those as well. But great little company. Okay. And, uh, Richard, as always, I want to thank you very much for your time and uh, sharing your thoughts with us about Amador Gold. Thank you very much, Al. Okay. And Amador Gold trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol AGX. And you've been listening to Richard Hughes, President and CEO of Amador Gold, on today's Small Cap Show, produced by Agoracom. I'm Al O'Grady. Thanks for joining us.